Hi, this is Tyler from AppToto. In this video, we'll be taking an in-depth look at the online scheduling tools available in the AppToto platform. The online scheduling platform, commonly referred to as Booking Pages, allows you to present your calendar's availability directly to your clients via web page, giving them the ability to easily see your open times and then reserve time slots directly on your calendar without the usual back and forth schedule coordination. Let's dive in. To start, let's take a look at the booking process with a pre-existing booking page. On this demo account, we can see that there's one appointment scheduled for Friday the 8th. If we take a look at the actual Google Calendar that this reflects, this shows the same information for us. And taking a look at the actual booking page for that account, we can see plenty of open times. If we select one of these, say Friday at 9, that'll ask us for a mobile phone. We'll submit the mobile number to get a confirmation code, which we'll plug in here. And once we've submitted that code, we'll just provide the rest of our information. Once we've included that, we'll hit Book Now, and we can see that we are on the calendar. Taking a look at that actual Google Calendar now, we can see that appointment has appeared already on that calendar for the exact time. If we take a look back at the original AppToto account, we can see that that appointment has shown up there as well. To get started with your own booking page, first open the Booking Pages tab. Here you'll see two options to add a sign-up page or add an availability page. The difference between these two being a sign-up page allows you to present your calendar to your clients so they can add themselves to your pre-existing group events, such as classes, webinars, seminars, etc. The availability page allows you to present your calendar availability to your clients, which will then allow them to book a one-on-one -on -one time with you directly on your calendar. Both of these options use a similar suite of customization and control features. For example, today we'll be taking a look at an availability page by setting up a brand new example of that. The first thing we see is the basic info tab. This will ask us what calendars from the account we want this to reference for availability, the ability to specify a custom URL for this exact booking page, as well as a title that will be displayed in this preview window here. The appearance tab allows you to customize the appearance of your booking page beyond the standard green and gray layout. We offer plenty of customization options here, including the ability to upload your own custom CSS if you're familiar enough with that. The appointment types tab allows you to set up multiple different appointment types. By default, we start you off with a single hour long option, which you can customize to your heart's content. You can add multiple options as well, which when your clients first navigate to your booking page, they'll be presented with the options to select from the available appointment types. The availability tab will control the exact way that your availability is presented to the client. Specifically, the chunks of time that can be presented, the window of times that should be presented, and when we should show an available time. The default here being that it's just looking for any open spot on your calendar. You can change that to look for a free spot on all of the relevant calendars, or to tell the system to look for a pre-existing event with a specific title, such as available. That would allow you to then seed your calendar with available appointments, and those would be the only times presented to your clients on this booking page. The Contacts tab simply allows you to control the authentication step. The default is, we'll ask for a mobile phone to send a verification code to. You can change that to a CAPTCHA or set it to no authentication whatsoever. The address book will simply add the client's information as we collect it to an address book of your choice. The fields tab allows you to collect as much information as you need when this client is setting up the appointment. By default, we just collect the bare minimum information needed to be able to reach out to them with further appointment reminders. You can add as many different custom fields as needed to collect whatever kind of information you're looking for. If you have any questions on that, just reach out to our support team and we'll be happy to clarify. The Appointment Template tab will control how this appointment gets added to your own calendars. The default is a round-robin system. You can set it up to be ordered if you use multiple calendars. And then this is the actual template for how your appointments will appear on the calendar. They will all have this appointment booked title and plug in the client's name by default, but you have full control over what that format looks like. The Add to Calendar is similar, except this is specifically for your clients. 
When they get a reminder message, they'll get a link that gives them the Add to Calendar button, and then this is how that will be formatted on their own calendar. The Actions tab simply controls what happens when a booking has completed. It will show them an appointment page, which does include the Add to Calendar button. We'll also send an email to you as the calendar owner or admin, as well as an email to the customer, just to confirm that their booking has completed correctly. You do have full control over the contents of those messages by clicking these small pencil icons here, and the system will then start sending them whatever messages you have in your Auto Messages tab. The Embed tab will provide you with the direct link for your booking page, as well as the iframe coding to be able to plug this booking page directly into a website of your choice to further streamline that booking process for your clients. Taking a quick look at a sign-up page, we can see that the majority of the customization controls are the same as the availability page, the biggest difference being the lack of an availability tab. This is due to the nature of how this specific booking page works. Specifically, sign-up pages will require you to indicate which exact appointments should be presented to your clients for them to add themselves to. To get started with this, we'll first create this actual sign-up page, which we can see has been created here. And there are currently no events for that sign-up page. To create an event, we'll go to the Appointments tab, create a new test event, Save that, and you'll see now we have the ability to add this appointment to an existing sign-up page. Clicking this sign-up page link will then take us right to that sign-up page, where we can then add ourselves to that existing appointment. We'll enter the confirmation code, click Book Now, and we're added to that appointment. Taking a look back at the AppToto account, for that test appointment, we can see that I have now been added as a participant for that group event. That covers all the details and settings available to you through the online scheduling tools of the AppToto platform. As always, if you have any further questions, just reach out to our support team and we'll be more than happy to help. Thank you for your time and have a great day.